you think you know guitars? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. So you reckon you would know the difference between a D28 from 1942 worth 50,000 euros and just a regular Martin D28? Yeah, sure. Yeah? Yeah. Well, let's see. Here's the first one. And I'm not telling you which one it is. Here you go. Sounds pretty cool. Next okay. one? Yeah, please. <laughs> Where are you? Okay. This is scary. <laughs> Here's the next one. You've Where's got? Where's the neck? Here's the neck. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. This is crazy. Well, I don't know what happened, but this guitar is amazingly responsive and loud, and it sounds crazy. So, if the rumor is true that vintage guitars from the 30s and the 40s are this good, I have to go with this is the vintage one. You're 100% correct. <laughs> Whoa, this is an amazing guitar. Let's do a proper A-B comparison. So what I've got here is Martin D28 from 1942. It's a beautiful guitar. And what I've got over there is a Martin D28 from 2019, brand new, which is also a beautiful guitar, by the way. Besides the age difference, there's also a price difference. This one is 55K and that one is 3K. So, what do we think of this guitar? When I play it, I almost feel like I have to play less loud because I'm scared of how much it projects and the volume of this guitar, it's just... It feels just like a very small body guitar, it's super resonant and it's just, it's very light as well by the way, it's Brazilian rosewood versus just rosewood. So we're here at the Fellowship of Acoustics in Holland where I got these two beautiful guitars from Martin and I also did an interview with them. The link to that is in the description. So if you want to check their channel out as well, make sure you do. It's a great, great store. This is hands down the most beautiful dreadnought guitar I've ever played. <laughs> it is so light and resonant. It really is super loud and I don't know if the mics are picking it up clearly, but it's 
the loudest dreadnought I've ever played, but not like obnoxiously loud. It's beautiful loud. It fills the room completely. And I have the feeling I can play a little more nuanced and less loud. So supposedly when you've got a very old instrument like this one, the wood is very dry. And that's what makes the biggest difference in these guitars. I think the wood is a little more stiff and resonant. So is the D28 bad? No, it's one of the best new dreadnoughts I played. And I think the reimagined is really something different than what we've seen before. Let me just pick it up again. If you would give me this guitar, I would have been blown away. It's awesome. But then when you pick up the D28 from 1942, I'm sad that I can't have this. It's I'm done. Cheers.